I'm from Uptown. And when I say this school saved my life, I truly mean it because a lot of my friends, my closest friends, are no longer with me. And I came from Uptown to this school. I was brash. I was cocky. Um, I had the biggest trophy at graduation. Everyone in Hunter was a valedictorian, so that don't mean nothing. <laughs> OK? I had a few gold medals. And I didn't come to Hunter for the curriculum. I did not come to Hunter for all the extra work. I came to Hunter because I was going to be in the first co-ed class in Hunter College High School. <laughs> I came to Hunter because every grade above me was going to be nothing but females. <laughs> OK? So I came to Hunter looking for cheerleaders. I came to Hunter <laughs> trying to find myself a cheerleader. And I got to tell you, <laughs> there were no cheerleaders. There was no cheerleaders in the building. There were girls that were in charge. And these girls were in charge of everything. <laughs> they had every single thing locked down. By the time I was one month in the school, they already had embarrassed me, put me in check, because I'm embarrassed to say this, but it's going to come out sooner or later. I got beaten in push-ups. I got beaten in laps. I got beaten in jump shots by a female. I didn't care what age they was. I was taught girls cannot be boys in anything. That's what I believe. This school changed my thinking. This school changed the way my brain was processing things because the ladies were in charge and they knew what they were doing and none of my game was working on them. So I figured I'm going to join them. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to join them. So I joined the girls volleyball team. I walk in the gym and the first thing I say is, now that we got boys, this should be a co-ed volleyball team. Sandra Miley says, this is a girls volleyball team and you are our guests. You should be glad we're letting you be here. <laughs> so I say, so we'll play the girls. So the boys play the girls. We got shut out. <laughs> Two games, back to back. And from now on, it was a girls volleyball team, and I was a guest. <laughs> so I graduate from Hunter. I go uptown. Completely different. Cheerleaders everywhere. Single moms. Teenage moms, all types of activities for the girls to do that don't make them stronger. And I remember what I learned in Hunter about the way the women ran the building, the way they helped me, the way they trained me, and I want that for my community. So I'm determined to make things better. I'm determined to make things stronger. And I, I saw all the girls had was kickball and track, but they could compete with the boys equally in it. They couldn't do the basketball because no one ever taught them. So I figured out we were going to make community service a sport. That's what we were going to do. We was going to make community service a sport, and if you wanted to be on the team, you had to do community service. And what that did was level the playing field because the girls could work. The girls had no problem showing up. The girls had no problem helping out. And in return, I was going to get them a spot on the team so they could be a part of it. We met a young lady named Ducky. Ducky was not the fastest, but she had the biggest heart. She could run with anybody. So Ducky was strong in track, and she was always helping out. We start the boys' basketball team. We're sitting there in the gym, and she comes up to me, and she says, when do I play? I say, what? You said community service was how you make the team, and I do the most work. So we had to put Ducky on the team. We put Ducky on the team. We take her into a big tournament playing one of the big teams from the Bronx. All boys, we got Ducky. Ducky's now scared, and I'm saying, don't you worry. I just want you to do one thing. Follow that guy wherever he goes. Ducky gets on the court. She's in great shape now, fantastic shape. All Ducky does is follow this guy when he has the ball. Even when we have the ball, he's fo she's following him. <laughs> this guy gets mad, gets a technical foul. He's thrown out the game. Now, we still lose by 30 points, but we made an impression. <laughs> we made a very big impression. There's a reason why we have to do things strong. PS128, the school that trained me to take the test and come to Hunter, and where I now work at, so let's say 128 is right here. You walk one block, you got a park. You walk another block, you got the Audubon ballroom. You walk one block, and one more block, the drugs were so bad, they had to confiscate the building. 
You walk another block, you get on 64th, they had to close the block down for weeks to stop the drug trade. 63rd, same thing. 62nd, same thing. 61st, the same thing. This is what it was like uptown in the 80s and the 90s. Now, that's, not, that's only part of it. 161, officer killed by a drug dealer. 162, controversial killing, officer killed a drug dealer. 164, police officer killed a teenager with one shot. Then you go all the way up to 173rd, police officer was killed by a bucket of cement thrown off a roof. I don't see how cheerleading is gonna help my ladies. I don't see how cheerleading is gonna help my community. My community was at war and everyone has to figure out how they can help it and how they can fight it and how they can help make it stronger. So some people think the sports is just for games, but I watched what it did down here in Hunter. I watched how the women and the ladies carried themselves, how they knew how to handle their families, handle their finances, handle all their time, and I was determined that I was not just gonna play sports. I was gonna figure out a way to make things better. So we have our neighborhood is a wreck. We come up with another sport, our favorite sport. We decided to make camping a sport. We decided to get the girls out of the neighborhood. And the first place we went to, I was one of the few people from uptown that could survive down there because this campsite was completely different from anything in Harlem, anything in Washington Heights, and most people from uptown was not comfortable with it. It was called The Village. <laughs> there were so many people that didn't look like us, no one else could come down there and coach, but when I got down there, I was home because I grew up in Hunter, and I saw the Rocky Horror Show down there, we had a great time, and no matter, no matter what we did in the game, the parents of Carmine always cheered our girls. They always cheered our girls. So we made camping a sport to help girls grow strong. We made camping and community service a way to make our ladies strong enough that they could help the community and their futures would therefore be better. Now, we're doing this camping. We decided to take it to another level, so we joined the scouts. Go to 10 Mile River Scout Camp. They don't want to see girls. They don't want to hear about it. They don't want to hear about explorers. The girls handle it. My girls are strong, okay? They, they don't play. The oldest unit was there at the same time, so we sell it the old-fashioned way since it's a sport. We took it to the COPE course. We took it to the COPE course. Our girls, because they were athletes, they outperformed the scouts. They were up on the trees, going back and forth through the wires. They was running ragged. The other director was embarrassed. The scout leader was embarrassed that his boys could get whipped. But here's what he did. He embraced our girls. He told them they're welcome here. And we found another home. We figured when we leave the hood and we go camping, we could find characters that help us build characters so our girls could be stronger and come back into the community and build things better instead of just letting things fall apart. Now that we're doing so well, everything is getting bigger and more people are coming at us, so we come up with one last sport. And this was the most important one because in our neighborhood, in PS 128, there's four schools around us. We have 5,000 school-aged children within five blocks. We have tons of girls, no one to work with them, so we decided to make coaching a sport. And whoever became a coach, whoever could help someone else out, whoever tried to make a difference, you became a coach, you got a chance to go on trips, you got a chance to travel, and if you went away to college, we guarantee you a job when you came back in the summer. And that's when we started Girls Sports Day. And the only reason why we could do Girls Sports Day is because of Hunter. Girls Sports Day is the favorite, my favorite time of the year. Girls Sports Day is when all the girls play and all the boys cheer. <laughs> girls Sports Day is when all the girls play and all the boys cheer. Every single girl in PS128 gets to be a star for that one day and then it moves them forward. Now my time is almost up, but I have to do one thing, and if you'll give me the hook, they'll give me the hook, but I'm not gonna be alone. I need the elementary school to come on up and give me a hand here real quick. <laughs> Quickly, come on up. Don't they look good? Yeah. Don't they look good? Yeah. Now, this is our anthem of Uptown. I don't got time to say everything, but if you listen to the words, you're gonna understand where I'm coming from and what you're taught me in this building that allows me to help folks uptown play a game but also get stronger. So y'all just gonna repeat after me. This is the uptown anthem. Ready? Go in where others don't. Go in where others don't. 
trying what others won't. Open when most are closed. Training kids to run the show. Starting while others sleep. Staying while others leave. Making school work so much fun. Finding ways to get it done. We don't give up. We don't give in. in. Hunter high. Hunter high. Hunter high. high. Your friend to the end. end. Let's give them a hand. (laughs) And this is what we do. I cheer the girls. I coach them so they know what they're doing and they can compete. And then we celebrate what they do correct, even though they don't expect anything. So for each of you from the dreamers, we say thank you for being our friend and making me look good. Thank you very, very much. There you go. Have a good day.